Sound Design Live. I'm Nathan from Sound Design Live, and this is the second video about getting started with Phase Invaders. Pew, 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 pew. So if you haven't seen the first one, I recommend that you go back and watch that. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be there on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, it'll be there as well. So in the last video, we talked about zoom and we talked about showing and hiding these traces. So what I want to talk about in this video is the coherence blanking threshold. Now this works exactly the same way as it does in smart and your other audio analyzers. Basically, you can just grab this control and as you turn it up, it'll start blanking out any data that is below the threshold. So what is this doing? So let's say that I turn this up to uh, 50. 50%. What's happening here is that as I look visually across here, it is hiding all data that is below this line, right? So now everything in the coherence graph here is blanked out that is below 50%. And same thing here, it blanked out this part of the subtrace that's below 50%, blanked out this part of the main trace. Um, and the same thing on the phase graph. It blanked this part out, it's blanking all this part out. So what you wanna do here, my recommendation, is that you basically turn this up until all the noise is gone and you can focus in on the crossover region. So I know this is the area of interest where the, my two speakers start to interact. This is the area that I wanna control for. This is where the game is happening. So all this stuff down here is just noise. I don't need it. And this stuff, the subwoofer is definitely not playing up here at 10 kilohertz, right? So I wanna bring this threshold up. And as I'm bringing the threshold up, I'm watching this area here as well as some of this area. And I'm looking at that pink and white trace and I'm saying, oh, okay, if I bring it up to about 0.29, 29%, 29.9, threshold here, um, then that gives me a nice clean area to work with. And now I can zoom in here and really just focus on the crossover region here. One note about coherence blanking is that you can use it to cheat and basically break the score. So the score over here on the right, which I'll talk about in a future video, is influenced by the coherence blanking. Because once you've blanked out all of this noise down here, you don't want that to actually be calculated in the score. So the score now ignores all of the data that has been blanked out with this threshold. But as you see, if you bring it all the way up to the top, the score keeps going up. And now that I've blanked out all of the information, the score is a perfect score. So if you wanted to break the game, you could just turn up the coherence blanking threshold on all of the missions and just hit sound check and you would get a lot of points and you would win the game. But you wouldn't really learn anything um, and that's not really the point of the threshold here. I just wanted to point that out because I think most people will start playing with this and realize, oh, why is the score so high? Well, that's because now there's no data on the screen to actually do any of these calculations. So it thinks you have a perfect score. Okay, so watch out for that. Start with it somewhere low and just bring it up until you've identified the region that you really want to work with. All right, let me know what questions come up for you and I'll see you in the next video. Sound Design. Yeah.